Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Maarten. In this video, I will show you how to use conditional formatting in, of, in Excel 2013. Um, now, this is a function that has improved quite a bit since the previous uh, version of Excel. Um, I'll show you what's different. We select the data where we want to apply the conditional formatting. We go. We can do. We can go to. Oh, this is a nice preview. Huh. Um, we can go to conditional formatting, and we. You see, we can do a number of things here. We can do a gradient fill, but this isn't. Yeah, I suppose this is a. Uh, this is like a like a mini chart inside your cells. Now, I really like how fancy this looks, but I find it distracts from the actual data and if you want to use it later. So, color scales, also very neat. But um, we're after, usually when, when, when we want conditional formatting, we usually mean, well, if it's greater than, let's say if it's greater than two million, and now this is it all is li it updates live. Now is this two million? No, nope, sorry. <laughs> and two, three, two million. Well, let's make it five million, shall we? And then we can say light red fill with dark red text, or we can say let's just make it light red fill. Now, um. We can also say, I want uh, text to contain anything. Nah. Now this is of course the first heading. So this doesn't really mean anything in terms of the conditional formatting, but it gives you an idea of what you can use. Um, but what you can also use, and this is a really neat function, you can use this button and it will instantly take you take you here. This is just a basically shortcut. I especially I like this function, the clear format, so you can just start fresh again. And um, we can say if it's greater than one million, we make it. Let's go to a custom format, and let's say I want to have a green. No. Nope, on a green background color. There you go. And you can immediately see what it's like. Alright, um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button above this video. And if you want to receive email updates when I post a new video, and get email tips uh, and tricks on how to use Excel in a smarter way. Click the button in the bottom right corner of this video. This will take you to my website, worksmarter.tv, and you can subscribe to my mailing list there. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.